2018 release of Figma makes it so easy to design activity rings, pie charts, donuts, and gauges using the Act 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Act 2 works and how to use it to create progress rings here inside Figma. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to press O from the keyboard, press Shift and drag to create a circle. If I select the circle, you can see there is a small circle on the right side of the big circle. This is the Act 2. With the Act 2, we can create activity rings, pie charts and donuts very easily inside Figma. First, let's learn about core concepts of the Act 2. I'm going to select the Act 2 and drag it down. You can see now we have three small circles. The first is the sweep angle. The sweep angle defines the end of the segment or the end of the stroke. With that, we can use it to create 50% of the segment, 75% of the segment, or like 25% of the segment. There is also the ratio which defines the size of the segment or the size of a stroke. To change the properties of the Act 2, you can change them directly here or go to the inspector. We have the start, we have the sweep angle and the ratio. Next, let's go to the start. The start defines the stroke start or the point at which the segment starts. We can drag the start to any angle we want. We have the sweep angle which defines the end of the stroke or the point at which the segment of the circle ends. We have the ratio which defines the size of the segment or the size of a stroke. And then we have the start, which defines where the segment starts or where a stroke starts. And that can be positioned at any angle. So now that we know how the Act 2 in Figma works, let's see how to use this tool to create our progress rank. I'm going to press backspace to delete the circle. Let's press O from the keyboard and press Shift, drag, drag to create a circle. Let's go to the inspector and go to the properties. Let's click on this icon to constrain the proportions. I'm going to change the width to 120. With this circle selected, you can see we have this small circle, which is the Act 2. First, I'm going to drag it down. So let's see how to use this Act 2 to create our 50% progress rank. Let's go to the ratio and change it from 0 to 80 in the properties like so and let's go to the corner radius and round it to something like 30 with this done the next step is to use the sweep angle to create the 50 percent of the rank let's select the sweep angle and change it from this to 50 percent let's move the start of the stroke from zero to an angle of 90 and go to the inspector. Here we can change the fill and select something like a green color. I'm going to select the rank and position it right to the 50% mark. Next, let's see how to create the 75% and the 25% as well. I'm going to select the 50% rank, press Alt and Shift, drag it down and position it here. With that selected, let's change the sweep angle from 50% to 75%. And now all that we need to do is to move the start of the stroke. Let's select it and move it to the top to an angle of minus 90. Finally, let's see how to create the 25% of the progress rank. I'm going to select the 75%. Press Alt and Shift, drag it down to make a copy and position it here. Let's use the sweep angle, change it from 75% to 25%, like so. So now all that we need to do is to move the start of the stroke. I'm going to select the start and rotate it down to zero. 
With that, we get the 25% of the rank. If you love this video and want to see more, you can subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like it.